Thank you for joining us for this Fox 4 Digital Update. I'm Chris Earle. The Florida Highway Patrol is investigating a deadly hit and run crash from Friday in Bonita Springs. Investigators say the unidentified driver was going south on Old US 41 near Compound Road, saying that a man was walking on 41 at the time. And the report says the front of that vehicle hit the man and did not stop. The man died on scene. If you have any information, reach out to the FHP. That number is 239-938-1800. As people get all set to leave their homes on a Attended over the holidays, the Collier County Sheriff's Office has some safety tips to make sure your home stays secured. Avoid going on social media to tell people you're going to be out of town. People could then know that your property might be vulnerable to a burglary. Also set a timer for exterior lights so they might turn on. And this could make someone thinking of going inside to believe that you might be home. Also ask a neighbor to check mail. That way when it gets there, you can also have it not back up on you. You can also delay mail delivery upon your return. And over Christmas, Christmas Eve. Some people are trying to make that final dash before Christmas morning for presents or just to get somewhere. But according to Flight Aware, there have been more than 2,000 cancellations just in the U.S. As of Saturday afternoon, Flight Aware also notes 55 cancellations and 92 delays at RSW, Southwest Florida International Airport. This is due to that massive storm system plunging much of the nation into the deep freeze, impacting nearly every state as multiple governors are declaring a state of emergency. So we'll bring in meteorologist Andrew ship it to see how this cold front will impact Christmas right here. I mean, we felt it today with yeah. these cold days. Are we at the trough, the bottom of this? Yeah, so probably tonight is the bottom of it, and then we'll start to warm things up a little bit tomorrow. You'll more notice it as we get into the uh, next week here, but over the next couple hours, continue to drop those temperatures again. One o'clock in the morning, 42, uh, getting out of 36 here in Fort Myers, uh, down to freezing uh, tonight in Arcadia, 32 degrees, 33 in Punta Gorda, but 40 uh, in Naples uh, here tonight, but because of this cold temperatures up to the north. DeSoto County in that freeze warning here tonight until 10 o'clock. Glaze County also in a freeze watch until 10 o'clock in the morning uh, there tomorrow. But we're also looking at still that little bit of a breeze out there. Not much as we saw yesterday, but just enough uh, to keep that chill in the air through the overnight hours. That means we do need to watch those feels like temperatures that wind chill uh, tomorrow morning, waking up feeling like 33 in Fort Myers, 37 there in Naples, 31 more Haven and 26 there, Arcadia, 29 Punta Gorda. And that said, we are watching again another night of some wind chill advisories in Glades, Henry, and Collier County. That starts at 2 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock. So we do expect that peak chill uh, to be in the air for you tomorrow. Though otherwise, Christmas, we are looking at temperatures climbing up to about 52 degrees into the afternoon. There is a chance, though, could see a little bit of light sprinkle around as well, just to add uh, to that element out there. But uh, we are going to start to warm things back up Monday, back up to 60 degrees, continue to climb those temperatures back at 75 Wednesday, 80s by the weekend.